The first phase of the treatment is very important. Our goal is to uh, com uh, completely treat the patient or to reduce uh, their platinum resistant relapses. All the relapses we know of one or two main types depending on the time of emergence platinum resistant and platinum sensitive up to six months platinum resistant or more than six months platinum sensitive now the approaches are have been reconsidered so that to change the interval the discussions are going on now we have six months uh, we have two types of relapses. Platinum resistant one happened less than six months. Any therapy may be used here. Uh, non platinum containing therapy, bevacizumab or platinum sensitive relapse more than six months. There may be a possible surgical treatment and chemotherapy combination of different medications and with the maintenance therapy bevacizumab plus olaparib. Let's start with the platinum sensitive relapse. Here we have a great number of modalities. Uh, we need platinum here and different combinations. The important thing uh, there should be uh, one trial showed that monotherapy always uh, the combination of two medications are needed. It depends on your choice. It may be gemocytabine, doxyrubicin, it's uh, your choice, depending on the toxicity and what we have in our drugstores, in our pharmacies. When we are talking about platinum sensitive relapses, usually we combine copper platin with paclitaxel. It's a gold standard if relapse happened in two years or more. Oh, we may use platina plus docetaxel, anthracycline, gemocytabine. There is a carbotopa. With the platinum, we use paclitaxel, docetaxel, vinarelbin. We have one more medication, oxaliplatin, in case of al uh, allergic reaction. And usually we use uh, oxa, uh, doxy, uh, doxyrubicin. When we are talking platinum sensitive relapse, combination of platinum depending on toxicity and then bevacizumab addition is possible as a maintenance therapy. And we are, if we are talking a platinum resistant relapses, it's unfavorable situation. There may be any therapy of non-platinum agent gemcetabine, doxyrubicin, cyclophosphan. Then we can consider the addition of bevacizumab as to what can we select as a maintenance therapy. Uh, maybe bevacizumab, olaparib, 
or platinum resistant relapse, or we may use bevacizumab or nothing at all. If we are talking about uh, the platinum sensitive relapse, as a second line, we have olaparib and bevacizumab, second line. Solo 2 for BRC associated ovarian cancer patients after platinum sensitive therapy. We can see this significant difference by 70%, 19 months. If we look at the overall survival, it's longer in all upper rib group. Undoubtedly, for BRC, mutation patient is important. Different meta-analysis uh, were studied. Here, the recent meta-analysis showed that PARP inhibitors can be beneficial for mutated patients. It's a wild type BRCOA. In many recommendations and guidelines of our country, in case of a platinum sensitive relapses, you can uh, administer PARP inhibitors with mutations and without mutations. And uh, recent data, 2021, phase two, Alaparib, patients who received the treatment of Alaparib in a platinum sensitive relapses, patients with mutation, germinal somatic, HID plus, What's important for me in this trial, PARP inhibitors, uh, they work for germinal mutation, uh, red full effect, orange, uh, this is a partial response. Then we have 64 ORR with a somatic mutation, and then patients uh, with HRD positive status, and then patients, not important effect, HRD negative. PARP inhibitors, so they were not only in patients with BRC mutation, but in patients with HID positive status. It's important to have this test in our country when we have patients with a platinum sensitive relapses without BRC mutation, but uh, they respond to the platinum regimen, we may say that patient most m with high probability has a HRD positive status and all aparib therapy will be effective. As to Aurelia trial, it's the use of bevacizumab in patients with a platinum resistant relapse and comparing chemotherapy and chemotherapy plus bevacizumab. Here we can see uh, the increase in two-fold increase of med uh, median of disease-free survival. Paclet Excel cohort up to 12 months. This regimen, uh, patient with a platinum resistance, a good option. Symptoms are relieved. Ascites is reserved. Here it's for platinum resistant relapses. Bevacizumab can work quite well. Platinum res uh, sensitive relapses. Comparison carboplatin gemcitabine. 
this is free survival longer from 8 to 12 months but uh, no uh, extension of life expectancy one more important point as geo 2021 patient uh, they received bevacizumab as a first line and then after relapse in a prolonged bevacizumab group 11 month and in a conventional chemotherapy group 8 month the prolongation of bevacizumab from one line to the second line can uh, extend uh, their uh, this is free survival uh, up to a 11 months in conclusion of my presentation I'd like to say that today our algorithm is uh, the following if it's a platinum sensitive relapse we consider surgery If, uh, uh, if not, the chemotherapy. I haven't been speaking about low-grade uh, hormonal therapy may be added. In some guidelines, uh, this hormonal therapy in case of a low-grade has been discussed. Uh, the majority of patients high-grade, the important factor is a BRCA mutation. For me, we have all the three options, chemotherapy or laparib, chemotherapy with following up, chemotherapy with bevacizumab. If the, I have the patient with BRCA plus and she didn't receive a laparib, yeah, we'll I will administer her uh, uh, this uh, olaparib, PARP inhibitor. Then, for patients with the wild type, I will consider, according to the patient, if a patient or HRD positive and she had, uh, she has relatives with oncological diseases, with uh, aggravated family history, I will uh, administer PARC inhibitors. If not, we have bevacizumab or following up. For platinum-resistant relapses, it's very important for these patients that there is no surgical treatment because it doesn't uh, prolong uh, the life expectancy low-grade hemotherapy, hormonal therapy for high-grade patients. So. Regardless of the status of BRCA, there are two opportunities, either chemotherapy or chemotherapy plus bevacizumab. BFR works quite well here.